Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a plan with me for you guys today and it's for my New Year's spread. So it spans from December 31st through January 6th. And for this week, I already showed this kit in a haul, um, but in case you guys didn't catch it there, I have my New Year's kit here and it's from Shop Jessica Hearts. I did spend New Year's in Taiwan this year with my family, so it was really low key. We just went to dinner and then um, watched TV and just waited for the countdown and that was pretty much it. So I I decided not to go for um, kind of like a party themed kit just because that wasn't the kind of New Year's that I was having. But anyways, this kit is called New Year New Adventure. And here we have eight full boxes. And then this quote box here um, says, say yes to new adventures. On this page, we have six half boxes, and then we have two appointment labels, two quarter boxes, and then a weekend banner um, in the bottom corner. Here we have the bottom washi along with some functional items like some um, circle icons, a habit tracker, we've got some flags, some washi strips, some uh, functional icons, and then two more quarter boxes with some flags and a happy mail tech sticker. And then on this page we have the headers, the little things, the sidebar tracker, some to-do, um, three heart checklist, another quarter box, um, these three heart checklists that doesn't have like to-do on this side. And then I did pick up an extra sheet of these quarter boxes just just because I figured if I needed more boxes to pull in, this would match the kit pretty well. So it does come with like a variety of the pink um, color, the gray, and then this rose gold kind of pinky glitter at the bottom. So anyways, that is the kit that I have for New Year's and I'm really excited about it. Um, I really love like how clean it looks because I feel like that's um, a really great start to the new year. And as usual, I'm going to start by placing down my bottom washi. Um, and then for those of you who are wondering and possibly new to my channel, I am memory planning this spread. And so today's already like February 6th or February 7th. And um, so this week is long over, but I do write down everything that I do um, on the notes app of my phone. And when I go back into memory plan, I just pull it up on my phone and um, just like jot down everything that I did. So I use this more as like a scrapbook slash journal rather than something I use to plan ahead, but it's still a really fun process for me. So I really enjoy doing that. Um, but anyways, without further ado, I want to go ahead and get started. I trimmed down the bottom washi this week because it was just a little bit too thick for my preference. I do like there to be a little white space above and below the bottom washi. And then once I'm done with that, I move to my sidebar. I place down the quote box in the top corner as I usually like to do. And then I move on to the rest of the sidebar. So first I put down this weekly to do um, header. I decided against glitter headers this week because I felt like it didn't really match the theme of the kit. Again, this kit is way more like low key and I felt like glitter headers wouldn't really match that very well. Um, so I just used the headers that were in the kit and some that I pulled in from my leftover stash. In continuing with my sidebar, I placed down a happy moment sticker from Paper and Milk, and then I used the Monday through Sunday tracker for my happy moments. And then at the bottom, I used a dinner's header from the kit, and then that heart checklist was a leftover from a Two Little Bees kit that I used previously. For this week, I didn't have any date covers that came in the kit or ones that matched, and so um, I just go ahead and move to Monday. I started Monday with a Today header at the top, and then I used a half box with this New Year's Eve um, hand-lettered sticker from Paper and Milk, and I also pulled in a gold foil heart from Clever Gal Crafts. Underneath that, I used one of the to do three heart checklists from the kit to mark some things that I did that day. And then um, I did get boba on Monday, so I put that on a quarter box. That boba sticker is from a happy blue tree. I do eventually move it to Wednesday because I switched out the boba that I use, but you'll see that in a little bit. So Monday was really exciting because not only was it New Year's Eve, I also got to hang out with Vanessa from Plans with Vanessa, and um, she was also in Taiwan at the same time as me, and so we met up and just like shopped around together, and then we went to a stationery store because, of course, we're planner girls at heart, um, and our boyfriends were there too, so they got to meet, and yeah, so it was really fun. I pulled in this shopping girl sticker from Happy Daya Stickers. After that, my family and I went out to get dinner. We went to a teppanyaki place that was really good, so I pulled in this grill sticker, and that's actually from Plans with Vanessa. 
At the very end of the night, we played some mahjong while waiting for the countdown. Um, and I'm still in the process of finding and ordering mahjong stickers that I like. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So I um, didn't use any icons for it. And I'll just stick it in when I purchase some mahjong icons. So anyways, moving to Tuesday. Um, Tuesday was the new year. I first put down the full box with the waves. And I kind of did that purposely. I felt like the wave kind of symbolized like a cleansing, um, you know, going into the new year with like a fresh and clean heart. And so um, I kind of purposefully chose that one for Tuesday. I put down that Happy New Year hand lettered sticker, which is again from Paper and Milk. And then I put down a little things to mark my workout. My family and my boyfriend and I decided to go get some stinky tofu. So we went to the spot that was near my parents' house and um, got some. I talked about this in a previous video. It's really, really good. I really love it, but it definitely um, smells bad to a lot of people who have not tried it. It's very interesting. But anyways, that stinky tofu sticker is from Hazel Sticker. On the way home, we stopped by to grab some fruits and I realized that I don't have really any fruit stickers. This banana one was the only one I could find and that came in a sampler and I don't remember which shop that was from. When we got home, I went to the gym and I worked out again because my sister wanted to work out so I just wanted to keep her company. The dumbbell sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. And then I moved to the bottom. I put down a half scallop, which is from Panda Bird Designs. And that Maru Holding Beers um, sticker is from Paper and Milk. Um, that night, my boyfriend and I went to one of our favorite beer bars in Taipei. Um, it's like in a night market. And so we go every year that we are in Taiwan. Um, so that's how I marked that. And then above of that I wanted to mark that we were at the night market so I put that on a quarter box and the shopping bag sticker is from plans with Vanessa. for Wednesday I first put down the full box at the bottom because um, I already knew that's where I wanted it and then I moved back to the top and start the day with a to-do header I pulled in a quarter box with some soup dumpling stickers from Hazel Sticker to mark that we got soup dumplings in the morning for breakfast. And then that day we did a family road trip down to the south of Taiwan. So um, where my parents live is up in the north and we just decided to do like a one night trip down to the south so we can kind of um, just take like a little vacation. That car sticker is from Hazel Sticker and then I used a half box to mark our lunch. Um, this is where I switched the boba uh, from Monday. So the the other one I put down is from Paper and Milk. On the half box, I attempted to write in Chinese, which my writing is awful. Um, but anyways, that's the name of the restaurant that we went to. It's basically the tea shop slash restaurant where boba was like invented supposedly. And so um, it was really fun to go there. And I definitely had to get a boba and it was super good. Um, so that was really fun. And then under that, I used a little things with a location heart sticker from where is that from? Oh, Simply Laura Paper Shop. And um, I use that to mark that we made it to our destination. And then um, I did go a little out of order. Um, first, I put down a quarter box with like a relaxed girl sticker from Little Star Plans to mark that we got a foot massage that night. That was like the last thing we did. It was so amazing. I was so relaxed after. And then above that, I put down a hot pot sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we went to this like beef hot pot place. And it was like honestly the best hot pot I've ever had. It was so amazing. Um, I like think about it all the time now. So I wish I could go back and get more. But anyway, then I move on to Thursday. I found this cute little quarter box with that girl peeking out in my leftover stash. So I don't know which shop that is from, but I use that to mark that I slept in in the morning and we actually didn't mean to, we were supposed to be up earlier, but we didn't set an alarm and just like totally slept in, which was so nice. Um, underneath that, we went to a museum on that day and it was a really cool little museum, super beautiful and had like just lots of really interesting things. So I marked that with a half box. That gold foil bow sticker is from white deer stationery. I then put down a full box and then we had lunch inside the museum and I wanted to mark um, the place that we ate. So I put that on the little things and then we pretty much headed home after we were done with the museum. It was about a three hour drive home. So um, we didn't want to get home too late. Um, that car sticker is from Simply Me Kish and it's super cute to mark a road trip. I did not like my writing um, when I wrote drive home. And so I replaced that half box, or I'm sorry, that quarter box and rewrote it and I liked it a lot better. 
this new quarter box I pulled in is actually um, like a leftover one from my stash and I just thought the blue matched decently enough that I didn't mind. And there at the bottom I put down two gold foiled um, bow checklist stickers. That's from uh, White Deer Stationery. And I just marked where we got dinner and then when I got home I FaceTimed one of my friends and I found the cutest little talking heart bubble sticker. Um, and I think that's from Mochi Kichi. So I thought that'd be perfect to mark um, FaceTiming. On Friday, I started by putting down a full box at the top. I used the other to do three heart checklist from the kit to mark some things that I did. And one of them was I got my hair washed um, at the salon and it feels so good because they give you like a full scalp massage. And so I use that little hair wash um, mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi. And then we met up with my cousin to grab lunch and we actually went to TGIF, which I was like, not thrilled about because I was like, oh, well, we have that in the U.S., but it turned out to be really good. It was a little different. Like, it's kind of more gourmet there, I guess, than it is over here, and so... I don't know. It was like really, really tasty. Um, that burger sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. And then we went over to my cousin's place and I got to meet her cat who is so cute. Um, so I used a cat sticker or like a um, Maru the Marshmallow with a cat sticker and that's from Paper and Milk. After that, my sister had a dentist appointment and we just walked around while we waited for her. Um, that dentist sticker or the tooth sticker is from Sunset Paper Co. And then at the bottom, I used a two heart checklist. I just cut off one of the other hearts to make it fit. Um, and I pulled in a boba sticker from Very Cute Designs. For Saturday, I first put down the full box at the bottom, and then uh, for the weekend banner this week, I did want to use it, but I didn't want it to take up any space in my actual spread, so I just put it there at the bottom, which I thought still looked really nice. Um, then moving to the top of Saturday, I used a to-do header and then a little things with a shoe sticker from Panda Bird Designs to mark my workout that morning, and then I put down a gold foil heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that we met up with some of my sister's friends, and we went on like the gondola that are right by my parents house and so we just like took it up to the mountains unfortunately it was like drizzling um so we didn't really get a good view because it was so gray and um just really gloomy um i used a quarter box to mark that we had lunch um up on the mountain that utensil sticker is from lemon paper co after that, we went and did some shrimping, which is basically like fishing, but you're catching shrimp. Um, so we went to this spot that was uh, pretty much known for it. And I don't have any like shrimp on their own sticker. So I use this sushi sticker, which is from, um, oh my gosh, I don't remember where that's from. I'm super sorry. Um, but anyways, I was horrible at it. I didn't catch a single shrimp and everyone else caught like at least two. So I just don't really think I have the patience for that kind of stuff. But anyways, then I used a little things to mark our dinner. We got some Thai food, which was amazing. And then we went to the same night market that we went to earlier in the week because um, they wanted to go. And so we just kind of followed along with them. That shopping bag is from Plants with Vanessa, which reminds me that the one I used on Tuesday actually I think is from Paper and Milk. Moving on to Sunday, I started by using a half box at the top, and then I put down this Fox and Pip bundled up girl to mark that we had a pretty chill morning. Um, we didn't really do anything. We just kind of like watched TV and lounged around, which was really nice. And then my boyfriend and I went and got some lunch at Taipei 101, which is like a really tall building in Taipei. Um, I had some Korean food, so I used that little Bop sticker from um, Hazel Sticker. After that, we went and took a walk through like a little foresty area. Um, so I used a shoe sticker and that's from Paper and Milk. I put down the full box underneath that. And then we actually walked all the way to like another night market-ish area. And we found like a little craft beer bar there. So we got to try some new um, Taiwanese craft beers, which is always fun. So I pulled in a beer sticker from Hazel Sticker. I then realized that I needed a little bit more space, so I went ahead and cut down some of the full box, which was fine with me because that full box, you know, doesn't really have, it's just like a palm tree, and so it's not like I'm um, taking away anything super important. And then at the very bottom, I put down a three heart checklist. I think this is a leftover from Hello Petite Paper, and I just use that to mark that we got dinner at Din Tai Fung and then went shopping and then played Mahjong with my family when we got home. And that is pretty much it for my week. Um, this was the last full week that we were in Taiwan. We headed out 
um, Wednesday of the following week. So we were just kind of wrapping up our time there. I finished filling out my sidebar and then I placed down a flag um, on the top left hand corner. And I'm realizing that I forgot to put a flag on the top right corner. So I'm going to have to go in and add something. I don't know why I only remember to do one side, but anyways, um, that is it for my spread today. I just showed you my leftover stickers really quickly and that's pretty much it. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love how this turned out again. It's super clean and just like gives me like all the wanderlust vibes that I really want going into the new year. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.